Hey guys, it's Dorian. I was asked a question on how to add an app launcher onto uh, Tint 2 like I have in Scion right here, this little button. And I thought I'd do a little quick video. I tried to explain it in the reply, but I figured it's easier to do this. Uh, so first of all, I'm using uh, Genie here, but you could use Mousepad, Leafpad, Nano in the terminal, whatever you want. You're going to create a file and it's going to reside in USR share applications, user share applications. And you can call it whatever you want. Mine is called applaunch.desktop. Now you're gonna need um, root permissions to do this. So you could open this with root or you could just do uh, sudo uh, nano in the terminal, sudo. Yeah. So anyways, this is the dot desktop file. Uh, I just named it app launcher, comment is application launcher. Exec is this XDO tool, key, alt plus shift plus space. You can change this to whatever you want as long as it matches in all your files, which I will show you. Uh, and then you can set an icon to whatever you want. So this is basically what you would find in any dot desktop file. So after that, you're going to go to your home.config open box. This is an open box, of course, in case that wasn't clear. And it's the rc.xml. So in case you didn't get that, it's in your home folder, .config, open box, rc.xml. So in here, this big and I'll just find it just to save time. You're going to go down to your keybinds section and you're going to add this. Uh, no, not that one. Wait, I lost it. Uh, let me just find it again. That one. There we go. So keybind key a dash S, which matches this, which is Alt Shift Space. So you have Alt Shift Space, and the action is Show Menu, and then you're going to have Menu Root Menu. So you're going to add this anywhere in uh, the Keybind section. And yeah, my window snapping, which I'm going to. Reveal later, it still has some work to do, but anyways, that's further down here. So this is what you're gonna add to that, and then save. Now you're done. And now you can go to, don't mind the transparency, I'm just playing with themes right now. You're going to go to the Tint 2 panel settings, edit theme. Yes. And then go to the Launcher tab, and it should show up in this list. So you can see the one I created is here. Just move it over like you would do like this, like that, and then hit Apply, and then the button shows up here. So now what's happening is the button, when you press it, is doing this command, XDO tool, key on shift, basically simulating you pressing Alt-Shift-Space which OpenBox interprets as show root menu, which is this. Pretty easy. Huh? So that's it, and hope that helps. I thought it'd be easier to just show a quick video. Uh, you can change it to whatever key configurations you want, but that is the gist of it. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. If you have any other questions, I'll try to answer them. If, it, if it's really complicated like that, or it's just really difficult to answer with a quick reply, uh, just do a video. It's just easier. Anyways, thanks for watching. Till next time.